Welcome back to the library Tracy YouTube channel and today's class we'll be learning how to make this beautiful gathered backlet stuff. It's a very simple tutorial and it is beginner friendly. If this is all you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a very simple outer neck blouse. It is actually black backless and there is nothing much to this top. So it is requested by a beginner. And I'm sure we'll find this very very simple because it's a very beginner friendly blouse so anybody can sew this. So I will be using this Akara fabric for this project and you don't need too much fabric like I said it's backless so I'm going to be folding my fabric and the measurement I'm using to fold this fabric depends on how big you want it to be actually but the measurement I'm going to be using to fold this fabric is my bust measurement. Remember, it's a, it's a blouse. And the fullest measurement for a blouse is usually the bust measurement. So now the bust measurement I'm working with is 36 inches. So 36 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 9 inches. Okay, so because I'm not going to be using my exact bust measurement, I can add 3 to 4 inches to that depending on how big you want it to be and because this is just for the black for the for the front we are not folding the back so i'm just holding it by like this just twice once that's two for my folding it into two for just my front bodies so like i said my actual bust measurement is nine inches when by the time i've divided by four and then i have around 12 inches here which means i'm adding three inches extra to it so I hope you can see it. I have 12 inches here, so you can do more or less depending on what you want. So now we'll, we'll start taking our measurements. So the first thing you need to note is your starting point. Okay, your starting point is where you want to start. Okay, so I just had to just cut out this small fabric so that we can see what I'm doing well. So now this point now is going to be my starting point. So now remember there's going to be a rope past on that starting point round the starting point so i'm going to be using two inches for the casing for my rope okay so that two inches i'm going to measure it first and then i'm going to make that into a straight line so the two inches is for casing which i'm going to use to pass the rope that i'm going to gather the neckline with okay so now this is marked i hope that my chalk is feasible so now this is an altar neck it's almost like an off shoulder so before i take my actual measurements now i'm going to go up by two inches so which means i'm going off by two inches because i don't want it too low you can also do two and a half okay if you don't want it too choking so let's just do two and a half so now going off means i'm placing my tape room. this is my new starting point this is for casing so we can just fold the part for casing in like this so that we'll not get confused okay so this is our starting point so now to start my measurements i'm going up by two and a half inches for my alternate so from this new starting point i'm going to take my round ham o measurement the ham o i'm working with is 15 inches so divided by two is going to give me seven and a half inches but because i don't want it too high i'm just going to add half an inch to it you can add one inch so i'm adding half an inch and that's going to make it eight inches so i'm going to mark it out there okay so the next measurement i'm taking is my waist measurement or where you want this blouse to stop i want this to stop around 19 inches which is here but i want to be passing a rope at the hem also so i'm going to add two inches for the casing of that so that's make, making it 21 inches so i'll rule that part also okay so now to shape it on my neckline you can measure your chest line measurement so the chest line i'm working with is actually 12 inches and the 12 inches divided by 2 is going to be 6 inches so the how you measure your chest line measurement is from on, on the front part from one ham old area where your ham joint to your body to the other so mine gave me 12 inches divided by 2 is 6 inches but because i want gathers to be here i'm not going to be marking exactly 6 inches like i had 3 or 4 inches to that so i'm adding 3 and a half inches to it 
and then I have it as a total of nine and a half inches. I hope you can see that. So on this handhold line, I'm going to be taking my bust measurement. The actual bust that I'm working with is nine inches. Like I said, I'm adding three inches extra to this, and I have it like this. Okay, so this same measurement that I have here, I'm not going to be taking my waist measurement because like I said, I want it gathered a bit on the waistline also. So I'll just take my bust measurement downwards, which is 12 inches with the extra that I added to it. And then I'm going to make all that into a straight line. So I'm joining my waist now to my, hem, my bust to my hemline. So now I'm going to, for my hot neck, from here i'm just going to connect to my bust point from my neck point here i'll connect to my bust point using this golf ruler and this is what i have so it's looking big now by the time i gather it you can see what it's going to give me so i have this now i'm just going to take my scissors and then cut this out so after cutting it out this is what it's going to look like and like i said it's just the front area i'm not going to be adding this to the back so now on this part now remember this extra two inches i'm just going to fold this now and then fold in like this to create an elastic uh, a casing a rope casing on my neckline and likewise on the hem also i'm going to fold this extra two inches like this now to create another casing so after creating these two casings now i'm going to make two long groups okay so actually you can use an elastic on the m line here and then just use your rope on the main part here but i want to use ropes for both so i'll create two long rope now so the rope for the neckline i'll make it a bit tiny and then the rope for the hemline because it's going to be going towards the back and that's what i'm going to use to tie it to the body so i can make it one inch or one and a half inches wide okay so now the casing have been created as you can see so but before you create your casing if you are to making it for an actual client you need to turn this ham oil area with a bias before you create your casing and then also on the side area you aim it inside so that it will be neatly finished on both sides so now i've created my casing on the upper part and also on the lower part then i went ahead to cut a long fabric now and then i sew it together and turn it out to act as my rope so this is the chest line area now so you can gather it as much as you want using your roof so you can see what we have here and then also on this side remember we do not use our actual waistline so you can also shift this to your actual waistline now and you have something like this and then you go ahead and tie it to the back so i'll take it to the mannequin and so that we'll see what it looks like Okay, so this is what our blouse is looking like you can see the ruffles that we have here because we increased our neckline measurement and then on the lower part also so this is the full view of the blouse you can see the waistline and like i said the back is actually backless so it's a very simple top to make and it's beginner friendly this is what it looks like on the back you can see the neck tie and the neckline area and then on the waist so you can make your rope as long as you want it so that you can tie it anyhow you want i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye